In the Peckham facility, we can't make good apples out of bad ones. All we can do is try to do the best we can to get good apples to the consumer. And we don't want to ruin it in the process. So just as of this year, we're implementing some new technology that allows us to take approximately 500 pictures of every apple. And all that gets analyzed, and all the things that we don't like get taken out. We can look at all the external defects, internal defects, and sort those fruit accordingly so that the consumer gets a more uniform package. This technology allows us to run a lot more apples at a lot higher speed, get a lot more done for less money on our part, and we still get a better product out. There's color cameras, there's black and white cameras, there's two different wavelengths of infrared light. The near-infrared spectroscopy is what looks in the inside of the apple. We run these past a, a camera and a sensing system and identify apples that won't taste good because of low sugar content, and we take those out. So the consumer never sees that low sugar content apple. The biggest advantage we have here at Alva Fruit Company is how we harvest the fruit. This new line should be able to pack nearly double what we were able to output before. So this is the, the second generation of robot that we've seen in the Apple industry for stacking from this particular company. Um, stack up to 35 boxes a minute. That's moving pretty fast. It's almost scary how fast they can move three 40-pound boxes across the room from one pallet to another. You plan to run your four highest volumes all the time, and that changes day to day. Tomorrow it might be this size, tomorrow it might be a different size, and that's all easily changes with the flip of a switch. It doesn't make any mistakes, so you don't have to worry about the wrong box ending up in the wrong area. I don't think anybody can stack 40-pound boxes of apples for their entire career. I mean, that's, that's going to be brutal on your shoulders and your back and everything else. So some jobs, it just seem to make more sense to have a machine help you. We still have the same number of people employed in that area, but now they're able to focus on other areas that are more important. With the bin sanitizer, the machine is right on the packing line, right where they're dumping the fruit. Every bin that comes through the building goes through that. It has about a 30 second cycle to run through that machine. Uh, water's about 170 degrees, and that's effectively eliminated every problem we've had. Calling moss, other insects living in the bins, and spent a huge amount on somewhere in the neighborhood of hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in chemicals that we no longer have to use just by hot water treatment. Drying room is another innovative idea. It's been used a little bit in some other industries and other areas in the world. It hasn't really caught on anywhere in the Northwest yet. Apples are stored in CA room at somewhere close to 40 degrees, depending on the variety. If you have to raise the temperature around the apple to 130, what you'd expect, you put, a, put an apple in the oven and bring it back later, it's going to start to wrinkle, start to lose a lot of its moisture, starts to become a cooked apple instead of a fresh apple. We hope to run the room at somewhere between 85 and 90 degrees versus the 120, 130 that you've seen in the past. There's a wax applied directly before they enter the dry room that helps protect the skin of the apple, helps retain some of the moisture, and it also improves the look of it. it makes them look like people expect them to see an apple. And if we're able to remove some of that moisture in the wax by dehumidifying them versus raising the temperature and trying to evaporate it by steaming it off, then the apple that comes out the other side is still remains a lot closer to what you had when you picked it off the tree. Innovations that we want to focus on and want to try to both get a better product to the customer and to improve quality of life for our employees here. There are things that aren't really required. You can still pack apples without any of those, but we want to make a difference in what the customer sees, what the retailer sees, and what our employees here are able to do and be proud of when they go home.